Hi everyone, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel and my nose job vlog. If you're new here, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Sophie Milner underscore FS. The link is below. Please do subscribe to my channel for weekly videos, turn on notifications and hit the like button. So yeah, here is my nose job vlog. I thought I would start by showing you some pictures of my recovery and then we're gonna jump in to me recovering at the hospital because I forgot to film any real starter video. So yeah. Here we are, here is me, right after my surgery, recovering from my nose job. I won't lie, I was high as a bloody kite and I had had so much so, like medical grade cocaine pumped into my face that I could hardly chew anything. Like look how it difficult it is to chew, so yeah. Hi guys, I thought I'd hop on here to show you how absolutely terrible I look. Like, this side of my face looks like I look like a totally different person on this side of my face. This whole eyebrow is like completely collapsed. Like Yeah man. Like weird. But yeah, my uh, black eyes are covered out. Um and it's like quite late, it's like half midnight and I just can't sleep. Not because like I'm in pain, I'm just a really light sleeper. So like anything that would wobble, I really struggle to sleep. Um, so yeah, um, you can see the prison, the swelling coming out really badly around here. I honestly can't get over this eyebrow. Like, what is she doing? I really hope. Like, what the hell, man? She's just completely drooped. Okay, not gonna lie, like, that weird droopy, like, eyebrow is so different to this one, and it's giving me, like, major anxiety. Oh, look. Some blood. Right. Um, I'm bleeding quite a bit at the minute, which is pretty gross. So, yeah, it's not very nice. And I look like a totally different person at this side of my face, also great. So, yeah, I'm probably going to look absolutely awful tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to watch the TV in bed until I feel better. I feel like going to sleep. Oh my god, also, my anyone who does go through this, pack lip balm in your surgery bag because my lips are so dry. Like, look at that. They're also so freaking numb. It's mad. The top one is anyway. Oh yeah. Um, I've been using like expensive moisturizer on my lips, I ain't doing the same thing. <laughs> it's not doing it right. Anyway, I feel a bit like uh so the freaking hell is having to a fucking face on that side. Sorry, I need to stop looking at it because it would just stress me out. So yeah, no. Hi guys, so it's um, two days after my operation. I was gonna do a bit of vlogging last night, but I was so tired because I only had like one hour sleep. I just like totally crashed out. Um, but yeah, the pain started to hit last night and I woke up this morning feeling awful. I was so swollen. Like even more swollen than I am right now. I could hardly open my eyes. I definitely feel like I just slipped down um, when I was sleeping um, a bit too much. So I wasn't elevated enough. Um, also felt a lot of pain this morning. It really felt like a, like a dog had bitten the end of my nose off. So I believe I had a septo rhinoplasty. So that's when they like s slice open your septum and realign it to help with like breathing as well. I never really noticed breathing was an issue, but he said that like my nose sort of like went to what, like slightly towards one side more than the other. So they could, uh, 
even it out. But uh, yeah, I take my gauze off. How disgusting that looks. Like, literally, it's so gross. Um, I had to keep sterilizing. I've got this sterilizing spray. It's just like a saline spray. You just spray it up your nose. Um, so I do keep doing that. I don't want to like rub my nose too much to like get this blood off. Like I don't want to cause any extra irritation. But yeah, I definitely was really upset this morning. I, I definitely was like, I kind of wanted to. <laughs> Babe, why is he barking? Where is he? Oh, I just wondered why he was barking like a little shit. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I definitely woke up. I wanted to cry. I felt like shit. Um, I, yeah, I wanted to cry, but I kind of couldn't because everything was so swollen. But yeah, I just felt really sad and upset. Wow, you're so noisy, Hedy. Hedrick's kept trying to lick my nose. I was like, ew, I know where you put that tongue. And that's on your willy, so don't you go to my open wounds. Yuck. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the main update. Uh, I definitely had a lot of regret this morning. So, yeah. At least my eyebrows look kind of good. Morning guys, so it is, oh, what day are we on? I think it's Thursday. So this is technically my third day post-operative. Is it Thursday? Let's check. Yes, it's Thursday. So this is day three. Look at the mess of my face. The I feel like I have I only woke up about an hour ago, so it's still quite swollen. Really impressed with how the bruising has already gone yellow. Like, I definitely thought I would be purple bruised for a lot longer. I guess it's probably the Arnica I've been taking. And also the, I've been smashing a pineapple juice, man. It tastes so good, so it's all okay. But like my face is, feels really swollen, like all around here now. So the swelling is definitely <laughs> making its way around. And I'll tell you what the worst part about it, in terms of pain, I've stopped taking codeine. So no more codeine, which is cool because that blocks you up and makes you constipated AF. Um, but I will say, the most uncomfortable part about it is a million percent like here. Oh, it's got the side of it. So it's like this surgical tape where my eyes are swollen. Like the surgical tape is like really making me itch. I don't know if I've got like a bit of an allergy to it, but then again, like it's not itching like here. Um, but I just think it's really irritating me. So it's really annoying. I don't know how to do about it. So if that like continues to be really uncomfortable, I'm gonna, you know, have to do something about it um anyway should we have a look at my disgusting nose i've run out of my sterimar sterilizing spray um which is like that's what so i'm having to spray obviously like every day several times and that helps to speed up it helps keep things clean and sterilized but it also helps to speed up the packs inside my nose dissolving um so yeah like i like it's looking still really bloody and gross, but I don't want to like rub it or anything. But I've run out of spray, so I need to send Jimmy to the shop to go pick me some up. But yeah, um, I slept a lot better last night as well. I slept really well. I still woke up in the middle of the night several times with like my tongue. I just kept touching my tongue because it felt so weird. Um, but yeah, so oh, it looks so strange. I just look so strange. Um, but yeah, uh, that's kind of how I'm feeling today. I'll show you my face a bit later, but she's swollen. Like, you know, when you just feel so, like everything feels like puffy. Hello, baby. Hello. Yeah, so, but yeah, in general, I do feel a lot better. I don't feel any pain today, which is great. It's just irritation. Yeah. So, yay, hopefully we are like going to be going upwards in terms of things a lot of people told me they were like day three and four are usually the worst <laughs> behind me. yeah day three and four are usually the worst but um i definitely feel like it's day day two was definitely the worst for me so far so hopefully hopefully things won't get too much worse today so yeah but i think it's a good start that like i'm not actually in pain right now so yeah but i just need to clear up my friggin nostrils man I can't smile, so like, 
like this bit is so swollen here like my filter is like so like swollen and like stiff right now when i smile i'm like <laughs> it looks so weird like mm -hmm. but, yeah anyway i'll check back here with you later it's kind of nice that um i've got i'm having like totally makeup free days but i'm not gonna lie i'm excited to do my eyelashes again <laughs> like whatever i can <laughs> Okay, I'm still in the same place, but look, I actually can't get over how much my black eyes have gone already. They just they didn't even go like fully, fully, seriously black. They've just gone yellow. Um, I had to cut a bit of the surgical tape off. I cut that there because that was itching so badly. So yeah, it's just supposed to look all just chubby. My face still is. So um, I'm just like intermittently icing my whole face and soothing bits so that hopefully it will encourage the swelling to go down and i'm just gonna have more and more pineapple juice because that seems to be really working so yeah um nothing major to update on morning everyone it's day four post-op look i mean look how yellow my eyes are really wow um so yeah i thought i'd update you <coughs> with how i'm getting on like how much better am i looking today with the swelling and everything though like it's really really come down compared to yesterday morning when i woke up but yeah i think today's the day that i can put some lashes on and maybe do my eyebrows and maybe even do a little bit of makeup i'm excited so yeah woohoo um but yeah so yesterday yeah yesterday was all fine last night went to bed got into bed and obviously I've got the dissolving packs in my nose. I've been like patiently waiting for them to dissolve. I definitely feel like part had dissolved already and I'd swallowed a little bit down. But yeah, that's, that's that happened a few days ago. So I got into bed and then my nose was like making this kind of like whistling noise because it was clearly like a gap between like the pack and my nostril. And it was kind of going like a zzzz, zzzz every time i was like breathing just with my mouth and it was really annoying because it kept waking me up and then jimmy came to bed like later and then i went to, and then i just sort of like sat up a little bit and then like all the stuff i like, moved at the back of my throat oh by the way this is really gory so if you don't like gory stuff why are you even here this is a nose job vlog so anyway i felt this stuff go down the back of my throat and i was like oh my god it's by dissolving packs like they're slipping down my throat and i swallowed like a huge lump of it i was like Ugh! and then like more started to go down my throat and then so i just like went to the bathroom and started like hacking it up into the sink it was literally disgusting i was like having giant massive really gooey looking bogeys coming out of my like mouth and throat it was horrible but yeah, then my left nostril is now clear. So I went to bed and I could breathe through one nostril. So I had a really good night's sleep because I could breathe. It's still a little bit like clogged with some like mucusy crap and some other stuff. But yeah, it's still clogged with a bit of mucusy crap. Um, the other one is still got its packs in. So yeah, hopefully I think that might come out today. Like it definitely felt like it was on its way in and out. Like I felt like if I, when I was breathing through my nose, it was like making my yeah it was kind of like making the pack move a little bit so it's definitely like breaking up and loosening up so using the sterilizer spray is so important and getting this to actually dissolve so i've used so much of the spray i've used like a bottle per day pretty much i'm probably like overusing it to be honest so i made such an effort to make myself look pretty today which i think actually hasn't turned out quite too badly considering I had surgery a couple of days ago, but so we were just walking out with the dog and I had, um, I had my coffee in my hand, which I still have now to finish. And you know, when like something goes like down the wrong hole, like down your th wrong, like throat hole thing. And you like cough it, like you sort of like cough it back up and then it comes through your nose. <laughs> well, that just happened in the park, <laughs> but obviously like one of my no nostrils was like blocked with my, um, like with the pack still that they put up there so i just basically it just kind of went back and then i went <laughs> like that and i just spat coffee like everywhere it's really embarrassing, embarrassing someone you said a guy was like looking like what the yeah. fuck oh, so embarrassing and at the same time like because like it went to go through my nose like my like you're not meant to sneeze for six weeks 
so I think like spark pen all over the place but yeah you're not meant to like sneeze for like six weeks and I just went like huh, and it just all like it just like expelled like part of the dissolving pack like out of my nose and down my face I was like oh my god is it on my face Jimmy was like yeah <laughs> it was so gross so um uh I came home and wipe my face and then I use a sterilizer spray and the rest of it's pretty much come out. I end up getting some on my top. It's so gross. Um, so obviously like I feel like this is like I'm giving a gore warning to a lot of the things in this, like I said earlier, but I wanna show you what came out my nose. So yeah, obviously if you like really don't want like gory gory shit, just skip the next 20 seconds. So yeah, this is what came out my nose. Um, oh my god, this is actually disgusting. Oh my god. And they're like smaller bits. But yeah, my nose is clear now. So yeah, um, I'm gonna like clean this up because the cleaner's coming this afternoon and I don't want her to have to deal with this. <laughs> Hi everyone. Sorry if you can hear the all the background noise. It's laundry. In. I just wanted to show you my face and how we're getting on. So this is day six now, post-op day six. Yeah, as we can see, the bruising has gone down like loads more. It's not that really bright, bright yellow it was. It's just a little bit of kind of greeny yellow. The swelling in general, I still got a little bit here, but not nearly as much as yesterday. Definitely like a little bit, because I can feel like touching my face. I can feel like there actually feels all, it feels like a bit, it's still like swollen here. And like in there, of course. This feels all like mostly all right. This bit still feels a little bit heavy. But yeah, so if we just come in, I'm gonna try to show you. Um, I can't, I really, I don't know what they're gonna do like when they um do my stitches. So yeah, I'm gonna get my stitches removed tomorrow. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they're gonna maybe take this off or something and because that just looks so gross like are they going to maybe cut that bit as well um because i swear other people recovering from this don't have this like horrible kind of crappy tapey bit like obviously if i need it there fair enough i'm sure it probably has a purpose but also it just looks like so annoying it looks like i've got like a tampon string at the end of my nose i am really pleased with how things have gone so far I I feel like I've got quite lucky with my recovery. I definitely feel like taking the Arnica tablets for five days in advance has been really, really helpful. The pineapple juice, because um, that contains bromelain, which helps reduce swelling and bruising, um, and actual bromelain little capsules as well. So I feel like it's been really, really helpful because I've seen, because I've had like lots of messages this week on Instagram and people have been like messaging me being like, oh, when I had my surgery, I found that like I didn't look, like I looked like how you do on day six, like right at the end, like how you looked on day three is how I looked when I was on day seven. So different bodies heal differently. And also different surgeons are different. When I had my boobs done, I had a really agonizing recovery process. I had my boobs under the muscle and it was really sore and really painful. Whereas I've had messages from girls who had um, their boobs done under the muscle and they were like, yeah, my recovery was fine. I hardly had any pain, it was back to normal like really quickly. Whereas I couldn't set up it by myself for like a week. Hi everyone. So I thought I would do a video about kind of how things were like at the hospital and sort of after the procedure because I don't really feel like I've spoke about it fully and what it was like and how I felt because I just kind of was updating on how I was feeling each day. So it's the Friday, not the Friday after my op now, but the following Friday. So I'm coming up to two weeks post-op. So on Monday, I'm getting my splint off but i just thought it'd be good to sit down now and kind of go through a run through of certain things so yeah um as we can see like my face is like back to normal it got back to normal really quick i think by the end of the first week like all the swelling had gone down that i believe is probably a mixture of 
the Arnica tablets that I took for five days prior, which was recommended. Um, I also took bromelain 500 milligram supplements afterwards and also drank so much pineapple juice, which contains bromelain, which also helps reduce swelling. So I think those really helped. I drank loads of water and I don't know, I mean, I guess I have had quite a few needles and things happen to my face. So maybe it's the trauma to my face. Maybe that's it. Maybe my face is used to it. So it was like, oh, another thing will swell for a bit and then we'll recover. So I feel like I have been very, very lucky. The bruising went down super quick and I'm like someone who usually bruises and retains it for a long time. I don't really know how Arnica works. I've never found the cream to be useful. Never, whenever I've used it for anything, but the little mini tablets have always actually really helped significantly with bruising with me. So I, they must have, it must have really worked. So if anyone does think about doing this or it has one booked, Arnica tablets are your best, best friend. I'll have a little look at the end. So um, as we can see, like these tapes have come like loose and stringy like i don't know how they're meant to this side stuck on a bit better but it's just you know i didn't really get them like wet as in like from washing my hair but it's more like being caught in the rain and <laughs> crying <laughs> like anesthetic like an anesthesia makes me emotional which is actually quite common apparently so um i cried a lot afterwards um just random emotions so so yeah that didn't help so yeah um i can't wait to get off this bit is like oh, really gross like it's actually really just annoying that there's blood at the end of it because i just kind of wanted that to be off and gone um but you know it's gotta it's gotta be there and it's only for a few more days but yeah back to the actual operation itself so i got to the operation the place the little mini hot the private hospital it's a really small cute little dinky private hospital and i had to do a covid test when i went in i did all five days prior and then i had to do a rapid test when i was there it's almost like kind of like a pregnancy test in a way like the, not like you pee on it or nothing but it's the way that it it shows it up it basically sort of says like oh like sort of kind of essentially positive negative inconclusive that kind of thing on it with using lines so that was all cool went in had my pictures done my before pictures chatted to the surgeon about what i wanted he was like you know like tell me like what are we doing today and i was just like yep i don't like the bump um i want it to be like my nose you know i want it to be a little bit smaller a bit cuter bump free um but i don't want to have a totally different nose and i don't want to have like a super lifted nose so i was like i don't it's just it won't suit me like so it suits some people but not me so that is what i went and say so i then just chilled out got ready for everything filled in all the forms i needed to fill in whilst he went off and was operating on someone else and i was just chilling out and you know what honestly i've had a like a lot of work done over the years and i mean that in the scope of like different kinds of botox um for different things like lifting my brows and like i think i've had it hard in my neck to sort of like tighten my neck i wouldn't recommend that it works like well and sculpts you but if like you want to work on like your abs you can't like lift your head up because your neck like completely has like loses all of its muscle i think for me, like, I, I definitely get, you know, I've, I've had a boob job, obviously, and I think I was really nervous for that surgery. But for this surgery, I was really, like, chill. I wasn't nervous before going in the room at all. I'm not sure if it's because, like, I hadn't eaten or drank anything before. And it was, like, the afternoon now. And I was just like, oh, I'm hungry. Like, I'm, you know, when you're just a bit pissed off. I was tired. And I was like hungry and thirsty so i didn't really have any like emotion left to be tired because it was being used up on all the above but yeah i was i wasn't nervous until they came into me and they were like yep we're all ready to go and i was like okay and then i went into the actual operating theater and that made me feel nervous i wasn't anxious at all for this operation because you know i was like we gotta change my face a bit it's gonna be good like i've always wanted this 
making a positive, doing something positive for me. But uh, as I went in and I just sort of saw everything and the beeping, like I did totally like clam up a little bit and was like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm scared, I'm nervous. So yeah, I then went and lay down on the table, but the team were amazing. They were so nice and they said, how are you feeling? And I was like, I think I said like, oh, I was really excited, but I'm a bit nervous now I've come in here. It's like hit me. So they were lovely. They were honestly, the, I couldn't have asked for a better team to look after me. Like they were just, they really like calmed me down. They were just all chat, chat, chat from all angles. They're like, you know, lie in the bed, chat, chat, chat. Like, uh, like talking about holidays, you're going on holidays. I was like, no, I was like, I haven't booked anything yet. Have you like, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I haven't risk booking anything yet. Things like that. And you know, um, one guy, Pablo, he said that I had great eyebrows, which was very nice of him. Um, I, it was just, they were just so lovely and made me feel really at ease. So yeah, and then I got the, they couldn't get a vein. They can never get veins from me. I just have really shit veins and I think it's that fear as well because I get anxious about them putting a needle into a vein. It still makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, they really struggle every time I've had to have like a blood test or something like that. Like they just can't, it just ends up prolonging it. So yeah, and then like I was just lying on the table and then I started to like feel a little bit like more relaxed. I'm not sure if they put something in first to help relax you and then put the anesthesia in. I don't know. Um, but I definitely felt more relaxed. And then we we're just chatting and I'm like, right, okay, the anesthetic's going in. I hate the feeling of it. I don't like it. Like, this is why I hate surgery. I don't want to have to have a surgery ever again because <laughs> they put me under and it just like kind of burnt. It felt a bit burny and itchy and itchy going on my, it felt a bit burning at first and then it was just itchy. And then weirdly, I'm going to be straight up, weirdly, my vagina started to itch, like my pubic area. Like it went, I felt up my arm and it felt itchy. And then my vagina started to itch and I'm so glad. It was so weird. Like, and I really wanted to be like, what? why does my vagina itch? Cause I wanted to know, I wanted to know. But I, I didn't say it because I didn't want my last words on the operating table to be like, why does my vagina itch? So yeah, um, that's that was that. And then I woke up a few hours later and I was told beforehand, you know, I was told beforehand, go to the toilet before, because before, when you come out of it, if you don't go to the toilet, you'll need the toilet then. And you might be like a bit too woozy to go. Um, and they also said, when you wake up, you won't remember, but try, if you can try and remember, remember that your nose is going to be blocked. So when you wake up, your, you know, your instinct is to probably breathe through your nose before your mouth. So a lot of people try to breathe through their nose and they can't because it's blocked and then they panic and they think that they can't breathe, but you can just breathe through your mouth. So when I came round, I actually remembered to breathe through my mouth. I breathed through my mouth straight away. But I actually remembered that. I was like, no. But I'll tell you what, I was freezing. I was freezing. I was just, I think the first thing I said was, I'm so cold, followed by, I'm so high. I was like, I'm so high. I feel so high. And I felt high as a kite. I felt like weightless and like everything was just like really soft focus and fuzzy. Um, and yeah, so that was fun and I was freezing. So they put this like tube to the blanket and it like blows up and um, heats you up. So that was like, it was like a, it was like having like a hairdryer blanket thing. Oh my God, it was amazing. And I was just cold and then he was like, oh, you, you know, and then I started kind of coming around a little bit more and the surgeon came in and was like, showed me a picture of my nose and I was just like too high really to pay too much attention to it. And I was like, but I remember just being like, wow, cool. So yeah, um, then after a little, ah, oh, then I really started to really desperately need the toilet. So I just said to the guy that was kind of like looking after me, I was like, I really need the toilet. And he was like, oh, okay. And then so they wheeled me back into my room that I'd been in from the start and then put me in there. And then I was just like, they were like, you know, be careful on your feet. Cause you know, it can sometimes knock you a bit, but I, I was straight up, I was absolutely fine. Straight at the toilet for a wee. And it was really hard to pee. It was like really, really hard to pee. But it was like my pee hole was closed a little bit. And I was like, my bladder was full and I was like, ee, like, 
come on so yeah um that it was really it was really weird and then like the kind of a high like sort of start to come down a bit and yeah, I just felt really tired more than anything. And I just sat in the recovery room for a little while and the nurses were lovely. They were, you know, they checked in on me to see how I was feeling. They, my gauze started to bleed. Obviously you saw the video where um, I was trying to eat the tea and toast and I was trying to drink. My mouth wasn't working because my mouth was like, everything here was just completely numb from like all the local anesthetic and everything. And then my surgeon came back in to chat to me before he went, home and i was just like oh, i felt so high when i came out and and he was like yeah it's because we use medical grade cocaine i was like eh? and he was like yeah we use like super super pure medical grade cocaine i was like oh oh okay ah and then i was like am i gonna get a come down from this and which would make sense because then i cried loads when i got back Maybe that's why people get like um, emotional an after anesthetic. Maybe it's like, because I know that they use ketamine, I think, in some surgeries as well, because that's like as a painkiller. Um, I know Jimmy's, when he's had surgery, he's had lots of ketamine for that. So maybe like that's it. Maybe it's because they use all these drugs and stuff. Um, you get a massive, massive medical grade come down after all of it. So yeah, um, so that was that really. I just thought I wanted to go through the whole experience from getting to the hospital and kind of coming out. I just waited there for a bit. I felt really like good, not good, but I felt like, you know, they said to me, they're like, oh, well, you know, I said to them, I was like, oh, when, when can I go home basically? And they're like, oh, whenever you're ready, whenever you feel good enough to go home. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'll text my boyfriend now. Cause I was just there like, I didn't want to just sit there and lie there and just do nothing. I was just like, I want to go back and just get settled in to where we're staying. And yeah, so that's that. That's all I really have to say on the matter. So I'll probably update you next on the day that my cast is coming off. <laughs> it's nice. I'm like, Good morning, guys. It's cast update. It's like 7.40 in... Good morning, um, I've got a Zoom with my surgeon. So we are gonna take the cast up, he's gonna tell me how. I am so nervous. So a lot of people have already said to me that I'm actually like, maybe shaking. Like, I'm way more nervous than I was like going into the operation. But a lot of people have said to me, you probably won't like it on the day it comes off. Loads of people have said to me, you might cry. Um, loads of people have been like, I hated it the day that it came off. I'm just hoping. So I haven't got high expectations for today because apparently the swelling is still like really bad. Also it is early, so I have been lying down. So yeah, um, I don't have like super high expectations for what it's gonna look like today. I just want it to look better than it did before. So yeah. Fuck, I'm nervous. <laughs> so Zoom was not working on my um, laptop so i was gonna film on this so we ended up facetiming so i couldn't film i should have put it on screen record i'm such an idiot i just i didn't have time to think so let's pretend to do it again remove the tapes here and then peel down and then ta-da it's still really sort of i just can't i actually like i I'm really happy because I know that this is just really swollen right now. And he said, he was like, you know, you've got quite a lot of swelling like up on the bridge. There's a lot of swelling. Like it's like classic when you see someone who's just had a nose job, like this bit looks kind of like, the only way I can describe it is like a cut, like almost like a cut mushroom or a cut like cauliflower floret at the end of their nose. And it kind of looks like that. So this will all go down. Um, but yeah, what? this is like my first proper look at it. It's still really swollen and obviously still got all the residue on it. So I just can't, I can't wait for it to go down, but I'm just still like really happy that this is what it's gonna be going down from. Like, I can't believe it. Like the bump's gone. The bump is gone and like just imagine that with like no swelling like a normal like sort of like refined tip instead of like being like it's obviously really rounded now i can't i literally i'm like oh my god
this is no filter at all, just makeup and I'm so happy with the result. Like it's really, it is really swollen. So let me come in. Like obviously from my on table operating picture, you can see I was really swollen front on and you can see that it still really is like, it's, it's like my nose is rock hard with swelling still. But if this is how it looks, like day one, when it's still swollen, well, day one cast off, when it's still swollen. Um, so yeah, I literally, I can't even get into words how happy I am. I wanted to do, this is obviously me with makeup on, obviously. Cause I was like, I just wanted to do a proper face of makeup. Honestly, I'm so happy. I could actually cry. <sighs> I'm not going to, obviously like happy tears, but I can't, I honestly can't believe it. Like literally. I have been so conscious about being side on. Even after having my non-surgical nose job and having filler in there, I was still conscious of it. And I have actually, I know that once the swelling has gone down, I, I'm so happy already, but I know that once the swelling has gone down, I'm gonna be even happier. And like, it's literally exactly what I wanted anyway. So yeah, like, and I still look like me. That's the thing, I was so worried. I was like, I don't want to come out here like having a really drastic change to my face like i don't want to have like a completely different face look completely i don't want to look different really i just want to look better so yeah honestly i just um like i am literally like why didn't i not just i mean obviously i know why i didn't do it sooner like i did a whole video explaining why like all the issues that I had and the things that I was really worried about with this surgery. And also it was like really friggin' expensive. So it was like 10 grand. That's a lot of money. I haven't really had that money to just chuck around. So um, 